The Muntun Yadar cruise through the vast expanse of space, a beacon of unity among the stars. It was a marvel of engineering, a vessel that housed a diverse array of species from different corners of the galaxy. Humans, Ralgarins, Threnians, and several other races lived, worked, and traveled together aboard the Grand Intergalactic Transport Ship. As the Muntun Yadar traversed a particularly desolate sector of the universe, its peaceful journey was abruptly interrupted by the arrival of a notorious threat, Zelian pirates. These insectoid marauders were feared across multiple star systems for their ruthless tactics. Not content with simply plundering goods and resources, the Zelians were known to capture crew members, implant their larvae within them, and use them as hosts for their offspring. The alarms blared throughout the ship as the Zelian raiders descended upon the Muntun Yadar with unmatched ferocity. Their sleek, organic vessels swarmed around the transport ship, launching barrages of energy blasts that tore through the ship's defensive shields. Chaos erupted as the various species aboard the Muntun Yadar scrambled to defend themselves against the relentless assault. The Ralgrins utilized their telekinetic abilities to repel the invaders, while the Threnians unleashed blasts of psionic energy in a desperate bid to hold back the enemy. However, it was in the human section of the ship where the situation took a sudden turn. The humans, a species known for their remarkable adaptability and resilience, reacted in a way that surprised even their alien counterparts. As the Zelians breached their sector, the humans didn't cower in fear or attempt to negotiate. Instead, a primal instinct seemed to awaken within them. The alien crew members watched in awe and horror as the humans underwent a startling transformation. Their eyes blazed with an intense fire, and a primal rage seemed to possess them. Without hesitation, the humans launched themselves at the Zelian invaders with a ferocity that was unmatched. The Zelians, who had easily overwhelmed the other races on board, found themselves facing a force they had never encountered before. The humans fought with a savage purpose, their movements coordinated and precise. They moved as one, a well-oiled machine of destruction, tearing through the Zelians with brutal efficiency. The alien crew members stood frozen in shock as they witnessed the humans' relentless onslaught. Limbs were ripped apart, exoskeletons shattered, and the air filled with the acrid scent of burnt chitin. The Zelians, who had been so confident in their ability to conquer the ship, now found themselves on the brink of annihilation. In a matter of minutes, the tide of the battle had turned. The Zelians, once feared across the galaxy, now cowered in terror before the wrath of humanity. The few remaining raiders dropped their weapons and raised their appendages in surrender, their insectoid voices trembling with fear. The other alien races on board the Muntun Yadar watched in astonishment as the once-feared Zelian pirates begged for mercy. They pleaded with their captors to make the humans stop, their voices filled with a mixture of desperation and disbelief. The humans, their battle frenzy subsiding, regarded the defeated Zelians with a mixture of pity and contempt. As the chaos of the battle faded into eerie silence, a sense of unease settled over the ship. The humans had revealed a side of themselves that none had ever seen before, a side that spoke of untamed power and primal instincts that lay dormant beneath their civilized veneer. The other alien races now looked upon their human companions with a newfound respect and perhaps a touch of fear. And so, the Muntun Yada resumed its journey through the stars, carrying with it a tale of valor and ferocity that would be whispered among the galaxies for eons to come. The humans had proven themselves to be a force not to be underestimated, a species capable of both great compassion and terrifying wrath. And as the stars faded into the distance, the crew of the Muntun Yadar knew that they were in the presence of a species unlike any other, a species forged in the crucible of the cosmos, stiff and unbreakable in the face of adversity. The captain of the Muntun Yadar, a seasoned and wise Zoltagarian named Captain Tavar, 
sat in his chambers with a select group of human crew members after the chaotic encounter with the Zelian pirates. The atmosphere in the room was tense, yet tinged with a sense of curiosity as the captain turned to his human first mate, Ford, and posed a question that had been weighing heavily on his mind. Ford, Captain Tavar began, his voice a deep rumble that resonated through the chamber. Can you explain to me where the ferocity of your kind comes from? What drives your species to such acts of savagery? Ford, a weathered man with a steadfast gaze and a demeanor that exuded both strength and restraint, met the captain's eyes with a knowing expression. He took a moment to collect his thoughts before speaking, his voice steady and measured. Captain, humans evolved on a planet known as Earth, the very same world that the Klops hail from. Our history is steeped in tales of conflict and struggle, of survival against insurmountable odds. Throughout the ages, we have faced countless challenges that have tested our resolve and our will to survive. With a sense of reverence, Ford delved into the annals of human history, recounting stories of ancient battles, of wars waged, and victories won through sheer fortitude and steady determination. He spoke of civilizations rising and falling, of great leaders and conquerors whose names echoed through the halls of time. From the wars of antiquity to the modern conflicts of our time, humans have always possessed a primal instinct for survival, Ford continued. Our savagery is not born out of malice or cruelty, but out of a necessity to protect ourselves and those we hold dear. It is a resilience that has been honed over millennia of hardship and adversity. As Ford's words hung in the air, Captain Tavar listened intently, his reptilian features betraying a mixture of awe and trepidation. The captain had always admired the strength and persistence of the human crew members, but now he saw them in a new light, a light that cast shadows of uncertainty and fear. After a moment of contemplation, Captain Tavar spoke, his voice grave and somber. The crew is grateful for your bravery and your staunch devotion to the safety of this ship, but they also fear you, Ford. Humans are not just strong, they are vicious. Your capacity for violence is unmatched, and it sets you apart from the other species on board. Ford nodded, his expression one of understanding tinged with a hint of regret. He knew that the captain's words held truth, and he could see the unease that simmered beneath the surface of the alien crew members. Humans had shown their ferocity in the heat of battle, a ferocity that was both a source of pride and a burden to bear. As the conversation drew to a close, Captain Tavar offered a final cautious nod to Ford and the other human crew members. We will continue our journey together, united in purpose and bound by the ties that have forged us into a remarkable crew. But remember, Ford, with great strength comes great accountability. Your actions have consequences, and your savagery, while a testament to your resilience, must always be tempered by wisdom and restraint. And with those words lingering in the air, the captain and his crew embarked on the next leg of their journey through the cosmic sea, each member bearing the weight of what they had learned, a lesson in the resolute essence of humanity and the fearsome power that lay dormant within. Humans can be a great ally or a great enemy, 